Hello friends, this is a project regarding college management system. It has three modules, admin, employee and student. First, let's look into admin module. The username and password for admin can be set from database. So here I'm logging into admin and then sign in. So admin dashboard has three options, add staff, manage staff, and uh, manage departments in manage staff all the employees are listed here we can see the details of the added employees let's add a new employee and let's uh, fill some basic details of the employees such as first name last name father's name mother's name email etc We can select a department for the staff member or the employee and the designation. And we can assign several roles to the staff such as teaching staff, permissions, admissions, notice generation and course allotment. And we can choose a profile photo for the staff and let's add. And now the staff member has been added successfully. Let's go to dashboard and uh, here we can see in manage dashboard uh, manage staff that our employee has been added to the records and uh, here we can edit the staff member details. Here we can update the record and uh, let's go again to the record and uh, let's put some friendly email so that we can remember the staff details in email say employee one at gmail.com and uh, let's update it go to dashboard and again manage staff we can see the updated email here now let's look into the manage departments here we can add a new department say chemistry and then add and we can edit or delete an existing record And in add staff, we can see the department, newly added department in the drop down. Let's log out and uh, see the employee module. For login, we have to enter the e email that we have added in the staff uh, member details and uh, the date of birth as password for the first time. Let's sign in. And for the first time, we are asked for us set a password and we have to put the correct details or else we will not be able to log in let's put the details and set a new password and confirm password we can see that if you uh, put incorrect details then we are not uh, able to log in so let's put correct detail and uh, then we can set the password here is the employee dashboard we can see various options and uh, now we can log in with the email and newly set the password from here and the sign in there are various options available in the employee dashboard depending upon the permission that we have assigned to this particular employee let's manage subjects here we can add a new subject or add it or delete uh, an existing subject let's put a new subject and uh, select department for it and then the course code and semester add so the new subject has been added we can add it or delete this particular subject go to dashboard and uh, we can manage courses from here we can add a new course or 
edit or delete an existing course let's add a new course for bba and course code we can select the department and the number of semesters and the course duration in years and uh, even semester fee and uh, or semester fee let's add the new uh, course has been added and we can add it or delete this particular course let's go back to dashboard we can manage student from uh, admissions let's go to manage admissions click uh, and uh, we can add it the admission we can activate or deactivate a particular student let's activate it again and then go to dashboard we can add a new student by going to the new admission and put the basic details of the student like first name last name father's name and uh, other details like email course code semester and a photo for the student let's put an email that is easy to remember student1 at gmail.com and other details we have to put admission date and date and course code in the semester let's choose a profile picture and then add the student has been added successfully let's go to dashboard and we can see the newly added student in manage admissions we can edit its details now we will see the notice board notice board we can put a new notice if we have the permission we will add a new notice with the subject and the description generate and the notice has been generated successfully go back to the dashboard we can see the notice board and we can edit this notice and this notice is visible to the staffs and uh, the students we can manage resources for various subjects like uh, we can put pdfs or images in the resources we can add a new resource for a particular subject and upload a resource for that particular subject let put a new resource for networking the subject code networking and choose a file for that say an image and then add the now the record has been added successfully we can go to dashboard and see manage resources and we can search for the resource so here we see the two resources that has been added we can download or delete the resource from here for different subjects go back to dashboard and log out let's look into the student module same as employee module we have to log in first time for by username and the password as a date of birth let's sign in and uh, we have to put correct details for the student else we will not be able to log in and then set password and put the correct details now here is the student dashboard where we can see the notice board for the student and uh, the 
personal details where uh, we can see the students personal details and uh, student cannot edit this information only we view it uh, such as first name last name course code etc and the course details for the student and the subject details that has been allotted to the particular student go to dashboard and we can see various resources that has been added into the library let's look for networking that then we have two resources that has been added we can download it from here so that's all for the explanation of the project you can get the link to the source code from the description